Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a TP-Link product called the TLWR802N router as a Wi-Fi extender for your Telodrome. First let's have a look at what comes in the box. You get the device itself, which is the router, a recharging cable and plug, an Ethernet cable, a manual, and a little business card which shows you the specifications on how to connect to the device. Now, to configure the device, you're going to need the device itself, your Telodrome, and something such as a smartphone, a laptop, or a tablet to connect to the device using a web browser. With that, let's get started in configuring the device. Step 1 power up the device. Step 2. Using a laptop or your smartphone, you need to connect to the network that the router is transmitting at. The name of that network is behind the router, you see the SSID name, or on the card that came with the package. Now, using a web browser, navigate to HTTP colon slash slash tpwifilink.net This information could be seen on the card or on the bottom of the device. Once you get to that location, the screen will show a login. The password or the username and the password are the same. It's admin. Once you're in, click on quick setup and the next button. Don't bother changing the password. Click on Next. On the next screen, choose Range Extender and then the Next button. At this point, turn on your Tello drone until the flashing orange light appears. On the screen, press the Refresh button and wait till your Tello drone network name appears on the list. Click on the connect link beside it. On the next screen, you will need to enter the password for your Telodrome network. After entering the password or PIN for the Telo network, press the next button. On the next screen, Simply accept the default settings and press the next button. On the final screen, simply press the finish button at the bottom of the page. The router will restart and will become a Wi-Fi repeater for your Telodrome. If you ever find that you need to reset the device, all you have to do is Look at the back of it, there's a reset hole in the device. Plug it in, plug in the device, and stick a paper clip in that hole and press the button inside it. That will reset the device back to factory specifications. <music>